Hi everyone, today's video I'll be showing you how I did my gel polish ombre with hand-drawn accents and for this one I also used the Chromageddon chrome powder to give it that beautiful reflective finish. Uh, for this I used Le Chat in Honeysuckle and Jelly's in Shocking Pink. Both are neon colors and they look especially nice with the uh, chrome powder over the top of them. You'll also need uh, your uh, no wipe top coat. In this case I chose accents. It's my favorite. Your chrome powder. Again Chromageddon from Social Claws is what I used. To do the um, hand drawn accents I used First Gel in Violet gel paint and Crystal Nails uh, Easy Powder clear acrylic powder to sprinkle into the gel. To blend the two polishes together I use this um, it's kind of a generic artist brush here kind of this chopped up looking brush it just says Filbert Art Artist Loft and Level 2 Artist that's all that's on the brush that I can tell you about it and it's pretty good for helping to blend those colors in the transition point. This is what those two colors look like with the chrome powder over the top of them. As you can see, it's they're nice and beautiful. Still retain a lot of the color because of the neon brightness of them. And here it is in an ombre. Uh, on my nail, this one on the left, on the right, sorry, I only did one coat. On the left, I did two coats. You can see it's a little more saturated in color on the left, but I actually liked it better with just the one coat. I thought it blended a little bit better. So for all of my nails except for that one thumb, I did just one coat of the neons. Also for uh, the design work there, I used uh, the Crystal Nails Number no. Zero Long Brush, one of my favorite detail brushes. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, you'll simply paint half the nail with the Shocking Pink and the other half with uh, the Honeysuckle. If you've ever tried to do gel gradients before in the past, you know they're not the easiest thing to do sometimes trying to get that transition point to look as smooth as uh, when using regular polish can be kind of difficult. But that's the cool thing about this Chromageddon um, is that you don't really have to get it 100% perfect. It kind of disguises a little bit um, that transition area so it makes it look smoother once the chrome is on top of it. So get that painted half and half and then we'll use our brush here to kind of swirl around those colors in the center to get a little bit of a transition area. Again, I'm not, this isn't going to be perfect and I'm doing it that way to show you how the chrome powder can kind of mask any uh, imperfections uh, in a gel gradient. All right, once you get your gradient the way that you like it, again, not 100% perfect, we're going to go ahead and cure that and then I'm going to remove the sticky layer. Um, I just remove it simply because it doesn't play well. The top coat, the no wipe, doesn't play well with these jellies colors for some reason. So I just remove the sticky layer and uh, then we'll apply the uh, one coat of the Accents top coat. Now, <clears throat> since this is the layer that your chrome will be going over, you want to get this layer the absolute smoothest that you possibly can without any uh, bubbles or little bits of you know fuzz or lint or anything like that in there. You want this to be absolutely smooth. Okay. 
and make sure that you do um, seal any uh, edges and we're going to go ahead and cure that. All right, we're ready to apply our chrome. I'm simply shaking just a little bit into the cap of the chromageddon. Again, um, you do not need a lot for this. And I've practiced and experimented so much that I've basically tore apart my last applicator, so I had to go pick up some new ones. I found these at CVS. Uh, Beauty 360. There's like 12 double-ended ones for I think it was a little over three dollars for those. I also gloved up for this because uh, first I don't like this stuff all over my hands and second um, I am going to kind of burnish the edge with a gloved finger uh, fingertip to make sure I got all those particles to lay flat and I don't like using a naked finger for that. So again not much is needed. Get a nice even thin coat over the nail. You start seeing that beautiful shine and reflection come through. Just making sure all those particles are lying flat. We don't want this to look glittery once we put the uh, top coat over that. Just going to go over it a little bit more with a little more chrome to Make sure I didn't miss any areas on there. And again, wipe down the surface to get off any stray particles. And there you can see me and my camera there in the background. In the finish, you can see my fingertip there. And you can see how the transition in that looks much smoother than without the chrome over the top. I have a special glitter bottle of accents for the glitter work and the chrome work. No matter how careful you are, you will end up with little bits on your brush. So having a separate bottle will save you some heartache in the end. For this, I make sure I do just feather light strokes, floating it over the top of that chrome to make sure I don't lift up any of those particles into the top coat and now we're ready to cure that. For accents, uh, 30 seconds in an LED. You can see that beautiful shine. Now we're ready to apply our hand-drawn scroll design. Again, this is the first gel in violet. All right, once you get your design the way that you like it, we're not going to cure this. We're going to uh, use our acrylic powder to sprinkle into the gel paint. This is a super fine clear powder. It's going to give a very soft, velvety, um, textured feel over the nail. I like the contrast of that with the super shiny surface of the chrome on the background. 
Make sure you get it nice and even, tap off any excess, kind of let that settle for a second or two, and then add a second coating of it just to make sure you get everything covered. And it's going to stay in place. I've never had a problem with the um, this type of, of application staying on the nail. I'm already a week into mine and it's still perfect. So once you get that the way you like it, cure it in the lamp, in this case 30 seconds in an LED. I'm just going to use a nail brush to wipe off any of the excess acrylic. And there you have that beautiful velvety raised design with a gorgeous reflective finish in the background. So as you can see, it wasn't difficult to do. <clears throat> Next to the other nail here, again, you can use one coat or two coats, depending on how saturated you want the colors. And you can see just how neon the colors start out and still quite pretty with the chrome over it. Very reflective. So if you guys have any comments or questions for me, go ahead and leave them down at the bottom. I'll try to get them answered as soon as I possibly can. I'll also leave links to all of the products uh, that I purchased here. And until next time, I will see you guys later.